Hello everybody, what is up? I'm John, also known as Browse Mods, and uh, today I'm creating a video to show you guys the most effective way to have a clear, crisp, lag-free uh, HD live stream. Uh, this, li uh, this tutorial is only really for PC games. Uh, if you want to stream through Xbox and use something, a capture device that would run to your PC, and then it's just a bunch of screen region, and uh, it's a lot more simpler than PC gaming, or PC streaming, because uh, PC streaming takes a toll on your... Uh, on your hardware so uh, before you even stream there's a couple things you need to know uh, you need to know your computer specs so for example uh, I'd say the minimum requirement as a CPU for streaming is definitely have a quad core processor uh, you gotta have a graphics card with at least uh, a gigabyte of dedicated memory well this is and I'm also saying this only for uh, HD streaming and for good quality and I'd say a decent amount of RAM so um, Really what I'm working with is I have, um, I'll leave my specs below, but I have a GTX 560 Ti, which has a gig of dedicated RAM for the memory for the card, and I have a uh, quad-core AMD Phenom 975 Black Edition, I think I overclocked it to like 4.1 GHz or whatever, but um, mine, my video card just cuts it because as is on low settings in most of my games, uh, for example Battlefield, I get like um, low settings like 90 to 100 frames, but that's on low. And especially when you stream, you're gonna get a lot of frame dropping. So you really want the most effective uh, hardware. And there's, I'm gonna show you how to live stream with two different ways. And uh, I personally prefer the way using with XSplit, which I have a license for. I bought three months for $24.99. And then I also use a program called DXTory, which is somewhere over here. But uh, yeah, so I'll show you the first way. So for example. If we wanted to use, uh, you know, I'll, 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 sh I'll show you guys with Minecraft because actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna pause it right here and I'm gonna open up a game of Battlefield and I'll show you something. All right, so we're back and uh, as you can see, we have our exploit window and we have uh, our Battlefield window. Uh, I joined an empty server just so you guys, uh, for example purposes. Okay, so really, exploit has a couple of features. So uh, just to, for example, let's start off by going to Tools. General settings so we can get every set, everything set up. Uh, this doesn't really matter, it's just your expert profile. Under general, you'll see that we have um, a couple settings. We uh, have, well, if you want to talk with the microphone, you're definitely going to want to set your microphone, and you can do that by going to recording devices and configuring all your microphones. Um, these disable arrow themes, definitely want to have that on, saves a lot of, uh, this is also just to reduce the amount of uh, CPU usage expert uses. Uh, enable game source. Uh, if you have a um, a really good graphics card, you probably want to use that. I'll show you that also when we get to adding stuff to our presentation. Uh, channels definitely want to do this. You definitely want to add a channel if you don't have this already. If you want to go to add. It's just taking a little bit of time. And there's a lot of um, settings within this uh, setting up your channel that are really important and do affect your stream greatly and I do mean that. So over here you're gonna put your username and password, pretty self explanatory. Uh, you can use just your Justin TV info, it's the same thing as Twitch. The uh, Justin TV owns Twitch I think or Twitch owns Justin TV, I'm not sure. Um, you might need your stream key, depends if it's not accepting your credentials. Uh, under channel, once that's entered you'll be able to choose your channel over here. For location, this is a very important part that I have seen a lot of tutorials that don't go over this as much. Um, I live in New York, and I'm well, about 20 minutes out from New York City. I wouldn't use this, though, because uh, on the East Coast, a lot of people are using New York, New York, and it's a very heavy server. So, for example, if I was streaming um, to the New York server, it's a very packed server, and I wouldn't get... There's just so much data going from that server from people streaming, so I'd rather choose another server on, uh, on the East Coast that's not used as much. So, what I discovered was, by using uh, a, Virginia, a Virginia server, a Virginia server, excuse me. Um, in a secondary server, I realized that not a lot of people use a server, so basically I'm using the server with very few people. So, better data going through. I'm not really sure what's going through, but uh, the server location. And I, So, depending where you are, don't choose what's really next to you. Choose something that you might not think is as uh, heavily loaded as the server that you would normally choose, the one closest to you. But what I did since I'm on the East Coast, I chose the US East, Ashburn, Virginia. And then the video encoding, um, it depends. I use Xbox default, but I know people who uh, have bad internet, they use really fast or super fast. The quality, 
Uh, this is also depending on your graphics card. I keep on at 10 because I think my graphics card can handle it. And then the VB max bit rate and the VB buffer is like how much uh, data you're putting if you're setting to the stream or I'm not really sure but I just know that uh, you can look at this by testing your bandwidth or this the testing bandwidth I, def I definitely recommend because it's a lot more it gives you straightforward how much you need and whatever people say you go to speed test and I'll show you do I'll show you real quick how people do that um, and excuse me if I'm like stuttering a lot and I'm speaking very fast I haven't slept all day I've been up all night and I'm completely out of it but yeah you can do speedtest.net and you can begin your test and you'll see that I have pretty good internet um, for the United States. I know people in like Europe who get like 100 megabytes download and like really high uploads, but my upload is pretty good too. And you'll see that. So basically, it's saying my upload speeds at 28 ish, 27 megabytes per second. So theoretically, I could put here 27,000 because if you convert megabytes to kilobytes, it's about 27,000. But I wouldn't do that because you have to also have to think that people who are watching the stream don't have the greatest internet or as good as internet as I do. So really, um, I put anywhere from 2,500 to um, 3,500 or 4,000. But whatever you do here, you're probably gonna want to double here. But you know, I play around with these a lot. But I, what I really do is I keep these at, this at 2,900. And I keep that 2900 too. But I know people who double that, which works for them. But you know, mess around, test the stream a lot, whatever. The resolution, keep that at the default save resolution. You can change the resolution over here. That's this is just disregard that. The audio coding, I leave it as default because it works perfectly fine for me. So once I said again, instead of using speed test, I'd recommend testing bandwidth because it'll give you green light or a yellow or a red telling you how good the bandwidth is and what kind of bandwidth you should be using. Okay, so enough of it there. We're going to cancel that because I already have my channel. Under resolutions, you don't need this unless you're a Twitch TV partner. Basically, if you choose these, uh, it will show you what it will give the user. If you have partnership on Twitch, it will give them an option of what they can use. Uh, and we're pretty much good over here. So you can hit apply and OK, but I've already done that because I already have an account. Over here, once I get it, once I said again, I use... um. When I'm flying jets in Battlefield or something, because I mainly stream Battlefield, I use 30fps because when I'm in the air, there's not as much action going on as if I was playing infantry down where a lot of shooting, your grenades are going off, so I stick with 25. So over here, you're good, I guess. Uh, your resolution, I keep mine at 1280 by 720 because streaming it 1080p is actually really tough on the, C excuse me, on the CPU, and um, it's that's for if you have an external capture card or... A, card dedicated to streaming and I'll go over that after okay oops don't want that um, now to DX Tori this is a, a program like perhaps like I said and uh, you're able to direct output this into this and I'll show you how to do that after so basically um, I'll show you my settings uh, the codec I leave the DX Tori video codec I think DX Tori created a very good codec it's low file size it's not as bad it's not as big as like each 0.264 or whatever. Um, clipping unchecked, and I keep my margin the same. The scaling, I keep this at 100%. And I don't. Some people mess. I put my size at 1280 by 720, but I'm not sure what. Uh, if you have one check, but that's just you can look at my settings, copy those. Um, this is very important. So instead of putting file output and saving it to a folder like recording, uh, I hit direct show output. And remember, we had the frame rate. At, uh, 25 so we want this to coincide with that so we put that at, I put my 25 you have to manually type it in and then you want the file format or broadcast I've tried AVI and it makes my stream lag a lot other than that I have um, everything else is like default I think but yeah this is really the most important part right here so once you're in that you're gonna oop my battlefield game closed but uh, I'm gonna open a new battle, battlefield game real quick I'll add this out for a I don't want to speed it up, sorry. I don't know what Of course, you want to join a server with lower ping than that, but I'm just joining it right now to show you guys. Uh, for example, purposes only. Alright, so it's loading my game. So, in this game, uh, what, what I didn't know about streaming at first is that streaming in full screen mode 
is very hard to do. And per se, you were in full screen mode, you'd uh, actually just hit add uh, game, and then I choose Battlefield3.exe. But I found that to be very, very bad on my uh, on my CPU, and it makes my game lag a lot, as you can see, I'm like 30 FPS on the loading screen. So we're gonna get rid of that. So what I actually like to do in full screen mode, I keep it there. And then once I'm in the game, to you have to start recording. You have to actually pretend you're like recording. So I hit F12 to record in DX Tori, and then it will start recording. I'm gonna go back to my X split over here, and then I'm gonna go to hit Add. I'm gonna go to Camera, and then DX Tori Video One. And then you'll see it's gonna give you a window over here, which is completely stretchable. Okay, so I have this in now. And basically, uh, if you can see over there, uh, it's taking 25 FPS away from the game, and that's where it's direct shot putting to, to X split. And then from there, um, what I would do is I would add, I would add a camera because I stream with the face cam, um, and my live shelf live cam. And then let's say I want to get this to the bottom right, I would just right click it. I would hit keep. I would uncheck keep aspect ratio. Ratio, excuse me. And then I would move this down or adjust it to my liking. I usually keep it like that. And then I also usually have a watermark that I put on my screen, which is over here somewhere. Um, right here. And I drag this in usually. It says JBlock 26 live stream. And once again, I uncheck the keep aspect ratio and I put it up here. And you could just do that too by just hitting add media and then choose the file and whatnot. But yeah, it's pretty simple. And then, as you can see down here, it's showing that my mic's moving, meaning that my mic's working. And right, you want to have that all the way full, and your volume working too. But once again, you can mute them. And with uh, XSplit 1.0, I think there's a lot of audio lag issues sometimes. So if your audio starts to lag, uh, just hit mute for like five seconds and unmute it in your stream and ask your viewers if it's working. Um, so that's one way to stream with DX Tori. And uh, make sure when you're in the game, you. Uh, you hit F12 to record, so it direct shows out here. So you can't you can't just immediately hit hit add camera and whatever. You have to actually go in the game and start recording. Then it will out here. So that's one way to stream. And then the other way, which oops, it's frozen. All right, let me let me get this. So once I'm in that battlefield, actually, I'm actually in the game. Um, to get in windowed mode, windowed mode is um, it's just a different way of viewing the game. So what I would do is I'd, I'd hit Alt Enter, and it would bring me into the windowed mode, and I would just make that full screen. And once again, I'm just gonna keep these because I already have them. And then this, for me, takes out a lot more FPS than just. Uh, I'm gonna close the X Tory though because I don't need it anymore. Exit. Um, it's still up for some reason. Oh, I'm just recording. That's why. All right, let me exit because it takes. A lot of FPS away. Okay. Uh, oops. Okay, my battlefield stopped working. Let me load another game real quick. No, I'll just do this with Minecraft because it will work with Minecraft. So another way to stream is some people prefer this way, but I really prefer the DX Tory way because it reduces my lag a lot. And really, I want to talk about frame rate real quick. Uh, for Minecraft, I could stream with like 30 FPS. And if you're streaming over 30 FPS, it's completely useless. You only need 30 FPS to stream in HD. And anything over is just killing your GPU and it's waste. But yeah, I'm opening Minecraft. And I'm going to log in. And Minecraft comes default in windowed mode, so you don't need to worry about hitting Alt Enter to get into windowed mode. But yeah, we're loading. Okay, we'll go to same with players, go to random world. Okay, so the way some people prefer is uh, by going. To XSplit, they hit Add, Screen Region, and then they, all they do is they click the top left of the window. And you'll see it'll give you the Minecraft window. And what you want to do is you want to move that across, stretch it all the way across, and move it down using these arrows so your face cam and your whatever kind of media you have in, is in front of it. And then what you want to do is, it's really ugly just with that Minecraft top on top, and you want to make it look good for your viewers, so you right click this. You're gonna hit going over where it says crop, hit 20, 4, 4, 4. And I learned that from some other video. I'll try to link in the description, but thanks for giving the dimensions to crop. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. And uh, it doesn't 
take off them. It's you see my game gets a little laggy, and I don't like this way. I prefer the DX Tory way. But you know, it's up to what your GPU can handle and what your CPU can handle. But that's another way, and I'm gonna talk about another way. There's oh, by the way, if you wanna, when you're streaming, you wanna definitely close as many applications as you can. Uh, I'm gonna close uTorrent. I'm gonna close. Whatever it's you know you got my point. Close anything that you're not using because um, you want as much room as your CPU as possible. So what I usually do is I usually go to Start Task Manager and I go through here and I look at things I don't use. Like right now I'm not using uTorrent. I'll kill that process. I'm not using whatever iTunes Helper. It's just a waste of CPU usage. And you'll see that uh, when I have these two games open, it uses a lot of my CPU. But yeah, and also when you're streaming, you want to make this a uh, little smaller just helps get out of your way put it to 10 usually and just broadcast when I'm, everything's all set up and that's by going to view scale viewport and then whatever but there's a third way I also want to talk about um, there's something called a live Avermedia live gamer HD or like a hog hog closest or like um, an Avermedia gamer broadcast and basically what it is is you plug a, a captured uh, capture card in your PC in one of your PCI slot, uh, slots on in your computer, and what you do is through there is you probably just hit add. You hit well, not probably. What you do is you hit add camera, and it gives you the option to choose the capture card, and the capture card will pick up the game. So instead of having to choose open up like DX Tori or a screen engine, you just get it directly from the camera, and there's literally no FPS lag. It doesn't take any FPS away. Like I think like two FPS probably or something like that. But it's the most efficient way, but one of those capture cards can be anywhere from like $130 to $240. Or you could also use the Blackmagic Attentive Pro, which is, I've heard a lot of people have trouble with that next play. But <clears throat> I heard the most preferable way is using a Avermedia Live Gamer HD. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But if so, once you're ready to broadcast, you're, what you want to do is go to Broadcast over here. And then you're going to want to go to your internet just to make sure everything works. Wait, no, it's going to Twitch TV. Okay, there we go. So I have, and you can also customize your profile. My brother made this for me. I think it looks pretty nice. And you can see the streams working. Um, I have my all my info, my YouTube, my Twitter linked, and whatever. But I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. Um, you could change scenes. So for example, if I had one scene with, uh, uh, I'll be right back. Like a picture saying, "Stay here, I'll be back." I could change that, and you could change like the transition by going over here. But I'm sticking to scene one. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I do answer all my comments, so answer any, uh, leave any comment you want, I'll answer. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I know I said that, but I'm just trying to think if anything. I'm kind of out of it right now. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure your resolution is. Uh, whatever, co if you want to stream in 720p, you'll have it at 1280 by 720. If you want to stream in 1080p, you'll have it by 1920 by 1080. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, any questions, comments, message me, comment, and uh, give me a rating. I don't care if it's thumbs up or thumbs down. Ratings help me determine whether you guys liked the video or disliked it. But I'm going to stop streaming. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later.